Welcome to the Dead Sea. This is the saltiest body of water on the planet. This is amazing. Whoa! <laughs> this is one of the coolest things I've ever done in any of my travels. Let's start it off with a science experiment. So to run this experiment, we have two variables. We've got salt water and we've got the fresh water. Now, this isn't just any salt water. This is actually 10 times more salinity than the ocean. And with that come some very unique things that we're gonna see here. So we've got two eggs here, completely uncooked. And this is what happens when we fill them up. On this side here, you can see the egg is bobbing around and on the other, it's completely flat against the bottom. Wow! Yes, science, I love it. Phenomenal. But we're not here just to try it with eggs. We want to try it ourselves. Let's go for a swim. Oh, I've got a cut on my finger. Oh no, now it's on my lips. Oh man, that burns. Oh. <laughs> I've never floated like this in my life. That is pretty cool. Yo, this is so sick. <laughs> wow, it's literally like someone's holding you. I have no worries, I'm so speechless. I feel like I'm in space. Yo guys, please do me a favor. If you could head to Wikifeet, please uh, leave me a review. And please, only five star ratings. Thank you. Get this, not only do you float on your back, if I try to stand, I'm bobbing right now, like a log in the water. You could not drown if you wanted to. Many doctors have actually told patients to come here to the Dead Sea in order to receive healing. And also, apparently you can't actually get a sunburn here as easily. There's some sort of a layer that's left in the atmosphere that provides protection from the UV. And right now we're at the Moven Pick Dead Sea and they have a pot here full of the concentrate. This is like the Dead Sea mud and you're supposed to just lather your skin with it. Yo, Chris, have you seen Robbie? No, dude, I think I lost him. Hey, has anyone seen Robbie? Oh, Hi, Robbie! I'm here! Yeah, I look so good. <laughs> this feels good, I've always wanted to do oh. this. <laughs> Straight up, that was so much cooler than I expected. But that's not all there is to see at the Dead Sea. <laughs> we have something incredible to show you. Let's go. My skin feels really nice. It feels like a baby's bottom. Super soft. We just realized there is a lifeguard working here. It's like a lifeguard in the Olympics. Nice to have him. Just 20 minutes away is the entrance to adventure. We are going into Wadi Mujib, which is basically a giant crevice between mountains. It has rivers, it's got waterfalls, and a beautiful oasis that awaits us, and it's so hot. In total, it was 21 per person for non-Jordanians, and with that, paid another five to get these six shoes. What are those? They have strongly urged us to leave all of our camera gear and everything that cannot get wet but you know how it is. We're here to film, so wish me luck. The starting point. Ow, it's hot too. <laughs> is it cold? Woo! I hope the answer is yes. It's nice. Oh, oh, I'm so stupid. I didn't even need to do that. What a view. Let's do this. Amigo. To the bottom. Yes. Okay. That feels so good. When you guys come visit here to Wadi Mujib, make sure you get here before three o'clock. We literally just got let in. They almost closed it on us and we would have missed out on all of this glory. It's so beautiful. And the cool thing is if you come later, less crowds to deal with. Everyone smile, look like they're having fun. This is how you deal with the Jordanian heat right here. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. When it's 45 degrees outside, this is like a small oasis. With cool water, a protection from the sun. It's so beautiful. Yeah. This makes me feel like a kid again. Join along as legendary travel vlogger Los LeBlanc and his team uncover the magical secrets of an untouched landscape. <laughs> We're coming up on something super loud. Probably the reason they told us to leave a camera behind. Oh my god! Check your pockets! Put your phones away! Goodbye everyone!
This is real world Disneyland. <laughs> oh my gosh, if you stay in the water, the fish will bite you. They're biting my feet. Proper waterfall. Oh, the fishes are back. Oh, hello. Ah! I think the main reason to come to Jordan is to do this. Robbie's holding our batteries. Oh wow, it's getting stronger. I'm losing my shorts. That's why it's called canyoning. I feel like Indiana Jones. <laughs> this is one of the coolest things I've ever done in any of my travels. And I didn't expect that from today. Love when that happens. Oh, hey guys, since you're here, I may as well tell you about today's video sponsor, Canva. Canva is something my entire team has been using for over a year now. If you don't already know what Canva does, it's an online editing and publishing tool that allows you to create beautiful thumbnails, amazing resumes, and pitch decks. And recently, you've been able to use it to up your video game with amazing video templates. We've been using Canva to put together our pitch deck, and so far, it's working. Now, I want to show you this video clip right here. After just five minutes of playing with it in Canva, I turned it into this. You're probably starting to see where the software is useful, but what I will say is that with Canva Pro, you get access to all the best features that Canva has to offer, and all of this for only $12.95 per month. Now, if you guys want to try it out for yourself, it gets even sweeter because they have a 45-day trial, so go check it out. No excuses, and let's get back to the video. All right, we have faced our next obstacle, and that is the water slide. Let's do it. It was so much fun. Guys, you have to come here to Wadi Mujib. And now it's time for us to take our life jacks off and go for a little swim. It's officially a Disneyland ride. <laughs> That was a picture perfect moment as we were finishing it off. One thing I will say is people in Jordan are so friendly and accommodating. The police officers, as soon as they hear that we're visiting, they're so welcoming, so happy to see us. And although there's a lot of checkpoints that might make you feel uncomfortable, you don't really have to be. 15 out of 10 would recommend and do it again. Jess, let's go. Thank you, shukran. Yo guys, do I do it? Do, do what? Do what? Activate ludicrous mode. Yeah! And this is how you end the perfect day at the Dead Sea here in Jordan. Swimming in the Dead Sea is a must if you visit Jordan, but one thing that I have to say is that just going to one of the public beaches will leave you leaving salty, and it's a horrible, horrible feeling. You either want to stay at a hotel like we are here at the Moven Pig Dead Sea, or you want to just pay for a day access to be able to then go use their showers, swim in their pool, and use their mud, which is actually supposed to be really good for your skin. The sun has just set, and this is going down as one of my favorite travel experiences. And guys, let's get lost again in the next one.